Yeah, things, of course, things change a bit over time. I've been writing for 25 years now, and I make my living out of writing, which changes it from that first wonderful feeling of, wow, this is fun, I'm going to play with this. But, oh, about two months ago, I'd had an idea, actually an idea that I started Oh, when I first started writing 25 years ago, and I, I wrote a, a terrible uh, attempt at a sort of blockbuster chick lit novel uh, set in Minoan Crete, which for some reason wasn't actually published, thank God. Um, and I started playing with this world again, but in a totally different way, totally different characters. And I'd just been kind of thinking about it, just had in the back of my mind. I was actually in my Tai Chi class, and all of a sudden I just... More than images, I had these questions that I knew I had to find the answers to, and I had the feeling of the book. And I don't know what I mean when I say the feeling of the book, and maybe it translates as the tone of a book. Often I see it in colors, and different books have different colors for me when they're in that idea stage. And I was actually so excited, I, I started crying in the middle of Tai Chi. I was just so excited about this new idea. I haven't started to write it yet. I'm waiting to finish a couple of other things. And I have, I, I've given it its own notebook, which was a notebook I bought in India, and it seemed relevant to this book. But I haven't written in it yet because I want it just to go on playing a little bit longer. So it was also a real joy to me to find out that I could still get that incredible excitement again by an idea that seemed to visit me rather than my creating it. So I, was, I felt really, really lucky.